and we're live. Hey, there you go. Uh, hey, folks, sorry about that. We had a little uh, problem. Obviously, when you throw it out there, you get at least one douchebag, and that's fine. Uh, we had to replace it. So for the seven other people that were in that uh, meeting, if you want to come back, go ahead and hit us up. We'll get you squared away. Folks, thanks. Uh, welcome to a very special edition of Murder Hobo Inc. It's Sunday afternoon. It's bright. It's shiny. Uh, and uh, we should be outside, but we aren't, so tough shit. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff like shirts. Uh, I don't, yeah, it's down there at the bottom. Um, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. Uh, you can also chat with us on tinyurl.com, mhobo inc uh, discord. Uh, right now we've got two players, we may get a few more, uh, who knows. Today, these guys are going to be traveling to uh, Cacophony, a small city uh, with a wall, so it's going to be safe for them. Uh, and <laughs> they are going to go ahead and try and quest their fortunes out as they start at first level. Uh, I'll take history checks from both of you, please. D20. Thank you. <laughs> Our producer's playing tonight, and she doesn't play that often, so we're going to put her through the paces. Uh, 17. 17? 10? 10. Uh, Zadar, you know that this place is controlled by a syndicate, so uh, things will be a little bit dicey. Uh, with a 17, you also know that they have paid for special kind of uh, enforcer helps instead of your standard town guards. So fucking with them will be at your peril. Uh, <laughs> as long as you both understand, you will be coming in uh, at the northwest corner, and I will go ahead and share that with you right now, um, assuming that you can both see it. Uh, you'll uh -huh. be coming in at the northwest corner near one and two. As you pass by this little used road, uh, you notice that there are several mausoleums and a whole lot of headstones here. This would appear to be the graveyard of uh, Cacophony. Uh, okay. It is, hang on. It is mid-afternoon. Uh, there are a few mourners laying flowers and wreaths down on the headstones. Other than that, there's not much going on. Um, as you reach the town gates, you see faceless automat automatons uh, guarding the entrance. In a very robotic voice, they tell you to hold, state your business. Uh, uh, we wish to gain entry into the city. <laughs> The hand drops and the hand points over to a sign on the side of the wall that says no fighting, no loitering, no stealing, no murdering, no killing, no raping, no beating up kids. What the hand returns straight up. In this place? <laughs> <laughs> the hand returns up and it says, do you understand the rules? We do. We signed the terms of agreement. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you are now able to use your Apple products within the city of Cacophony. Uh, the automaton moves to one side and you are allowed to enter the streets. Uh, the streets are all cobblestone. They're in fairly good condition. Inside the buildings are either two or three story in the small winding uh, uh, streets. Uh, however, as you walk in on your left is a very large marketplace opening. Uh, and this place is known as the hillside because it slopes down towards the dock region uh, instead of moving up a slight hill, which is the area of three and four in front of you if you're looking at the maps. Uh, inside on the left is the marketplace. On the right, uh, there is a rather long pointy building and that would be an inn. Uh, there are several other businesses here. Where would you like to go first? You said it's late uh, afternoon? Late afternoon. Um, Want to check out the market? Sure. Okay. You go into the market and multiple vendors are starting to pack up their wares. So there's some sales on some stuff. Uh, as they look at you, they can tell from the way you are dressed that you are of the adventuring ilk. Uh, many of the individuals do not seem to care as they are selling produce and food, and knowing that you are adventurers, they will not go ahead and pay much attention to you. 
However, if you go ahead and give me a d20 roll, I'll see if there's anything that is of interest to you guys. Natural 20. 13. The 13 finds an apothecary stall, and the 20 Zadar finds an armory shop. Uh, I point to my and the armory shop, and I say, I think that's the place we ought to check out. That works. We can do that. Fair enough. Uh, my Corona, give me a d20, please. 12. Are there any cheese vendors here? I'm sure there are. Uh, <laughs> d12 against me. That's a four. Nine. Yes, there's a cheese vendor right inside. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the cheese vendor takes a broom and smacks a black cat Aww. off its uh, goods, uh, causing it to screech and howl and speed around several of the stalls. The vendor politely greets you and says, what would you like? I'd like for you not smack cats around. That cat is a problem. It's been a problem all afternoon. Would you like to buy something or do you need to get out? What kind of cheese <laughs> do you have? I have every kind of cheese imaginable up to and including five different kinds. <laughs> okay. Do you have any brie? D12 against me. Six. Nine. Yes, I have brie. I would take a wheel of brie, please. Uh, you will have at least some money in order to make this purchase. Go ahead. Zadar has pointed out that the armor shop is not too far away. Also, you have taken a uh, spy at the alchemy shop. Or alchemy stall, rather. Can I go find the cat? You may look for the cat. Zadar, do you want to go ahead and go to the armory shop? Uh, yes, I'll check out the armory first. It's a rather grumpy, uh, questionable disposition dwarf. Uh, he's still wearing a uh, apron, indicating that he is probably the armorer responsible for this shop. And he's starting to put his items in a heavy steel banded chest. And he proudly announces, what the hell do you want? <laughs> Uh, I say, uh, well, good sir, um, I'd like to check out your wares to see... Pick it up, pick it up, I'm getting ready to leave. What do you want? I understand. Uh, we're here to check out to see what, what weapons or arms that you have available. You got anything on sale? You're looking for the cat. Zidar, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like he's a, uh, apparently put most of his equipment away. Uh, however, he does have some items out. Is there anything specifically you're looking for? Uh, how about daggers? Oh, yeah. He's got those out. He'll put those away last. Uh, okay. There's pearl-handled uh, daggers. There's thin stilettos, uh, not the shoe, the knife, uh, and several other varieties uh, as you wish. Some are adorned creatively, uh, naked woman hilt. Uh, some are adorned plainly and very useful looking. Probably hmm. as well. Uh, okay, naked, what do you want? Uh, naked woman hilt. That seems interesting. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> uh, that'll be eight gold. Eight gold? She is a special favorite of mine. Well, how about the pearl handle? D12. Five. Uh, four. <laughs> Uh, that'll be five gold. Five gold? Oh, gosh. I really do like the naked woman, though. Okay. And he, he's doing this. Okay. I'll take the, I'll take the naked woman, uh, dagger. Fair enough. Uh, he exchanges gold for the weapon, and you now have it. Okay. Uh, my Corona, go ahead and roll me an investigation check, please. <laughs> what happens when you play on the couch? Uh, five. <laughs> you aren't finding the cat, but you are finding some mice. Hmm. I guess I go find, uh, Zadar again. Fair enough. Uh, okay. per perception check Zadar, perception check my Corona. Okay. Eight. Uh, my oh, wait, I didn't add my modifier. I am so sorry. Uh, perception, um... Uh, that that's going to be four total. 
<laughs> oh, all the difference in the world. Wow. Mike, yeah. you, you do spot Zadar, and he's looking around somewhat lost, uh, but he does have a nice shiny blade in his hand. Zadar, do 12 against me on the quality of that blade. Okay. Okay. Wow. I, I'm sure I, I'm sure it is a quality item. Uh, okay. Mike Corona, you've spotted your colleague, uh, but he seems bewildered. Yo, just Zadar, what'd you buy? Uh, well, I proudly show my naked woman a uh, dagger. No, 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 you have the pearl handled one. Oh, I get. Oh, I thought I paid. I thought I. I really thought I paid. Paid eight did, gold. Did, did you want to pay eight gold? Yeah. You can have the naked lady. Okay, okay, that's the one that I have. Should we roll off on that too? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. Nine. Okay. okay. I'm sure it's a quality item. Uh, <laughs> Mike Corona, the proprietor of the stall, looks at you and goes, oh, Jesus, I didn't do this much business earlier. What do you want? Well, <laughs> I want nothing from you. Thank you. Good, Unless good. you have a naked male handle dagger. Yes, I do. Really? <laughs> I'd like to see that. It's missing most of the male part, but the important part is there is the handle. I'll pass. <laughs> Fine. Go away. Scoot, scoot, <laughs> scoot. Uh, did the dagger come with a scabbard? No, you didn't buy a scabbard. <laughs> oh, God, damn it. What an asshole. <laughs> I'm, I'm returning back to my roots of my NPC status. They're all dicks. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, is there a leather worker in, in the the area? Not in the stalls. However, uh, give me a perception check for smell. Smell a tanned hide, huh? Uh, let's see, 12. Oh, yeah, you can smell the uh, boiling oil somewhere. Uh, from this direction, it's uh, further down the hill. Further down the hill is the apothecary on the way too the apothecary will be on the way as well okay um uh if you don't mind mike we can stop in the apothecary real quick that i've works. Uh, got a few things that i want to see and i just want to bring up right now i look like a male uh wood elf so okay. is that what you are or is that what you look like that's not what i am <laughs> oh, great i love changelings ah uh... You guys approach the apothecary stand, and uh, the old crone's a little bit on the ugly side. Uh, it's got uh, <laughs> the hump on the back. Uh, the teeth aren't very good, uh, but she's very polite. Uh, yes, 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 my two lovelies. What can I get for you? Go ahead. I, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, I'm... Uh, Ma'am, I was looking to see if uh, perhaps you had any, um, how should I say, vials of poison or anything like that, particularly oh, snake no. venom. Poison is not allowed within the city limits, my friend. Mm. I could never, ever <laughs> sell that to you. Okay, because I seem to be having a problem with rats. Oh, so you want... Rat poison. Rat poison. She does the sideways glance both ways and says, I reach in and silently go, thank you. <laughs> she pushes a small vial of bubbling green liquid. Uh, it's got the consistency of jello, but for some reason, bubbles continue to sprout in it. Okay. And for you, my lovely, what may I get for you? So, is it the cheese shop earlier and he was abusing a cat that I tried to find. Allegedly abusing a cat, thank you. <laughs> I saw it, he smacked it with a room. So yeah. do you know the cat in question? Uh, I don't know, what did it look like? It was a black cat. It liked cheese. Oh, well, with, with that kind of description, of course I know who that is. <laughs> Are you <being> uh, <laughs> that? Actually, I did observe uh, a woman, an enchantress, if you will, uh, she stopped by. She picked up some spell components earlier. I believe her name was Uma. Uh, and uh, I believe the cat was uh, attracted to her, or at least appeared to be a companion animal, hmm. uh, probably to fly on planes from DSA. I was just going to go look for the cat. 
I oh, I, w I, I wouldn't be too worried about that, Kat. Uh, perception check, both of you. Oh, God. 17. One. Uh, my Corona, you lean too far in and you knock over some of her product. Zadar, you hear a fafing uh, behind you. A fafing? Yep. Okay, I turn fast uh, to see what it is. The cheesemonger is slumped over his countertop. Oh, okay. <laughs> is he dead? I kind of hold our place. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my Corona, do you want to help the old crone pick up her bottles? I suppose. Are you going to try and steal any, or are you going to be quite helpful instead? I'll be very helpful. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Uh, you finally get in uh, all the bottles back in, uh, and she puts half of them away because she is closing up shop, and she looks over, and she too spots the slumped-over cheesemonger. Oh, my. That is too bad. Mr. Velveeta was a big fan of my products. <laughs> well, how do you know that he's not just napping? Oh, he doesn't sleep. <laughs> he has uh, horrible insomnia because he won't buy my insomniatic cure. Oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> so what do you suppose happened to him? Oh, I wouldn't have any idea. But if you saw him abuse that cat, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that enchantress uh, took care of him. Hmm. I didn't see it, though. I was <clears throat> picking up my wares. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, he must have deserved it, so. No, oh, clearly. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. And that's my Corona ASPCA, correct? Yes. Ah, very good. Uh, Zadar, you don't notice any movement on the individual, uh, oh, and okay. uh, the <clears throat> rest of the vendors are expediting their packing material, uh, and they want to get the hell out of uh, cacophony. I want to go get some free cheese. Possible. Oh, very nice. We're going to go see Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, Z go ahead, Zadar. I kind of... Uh, CYA, cover your ass. <laughs> kind of, kind of walk with you, and you know, keeping an eye peeled for City Watch or the Tomatons. <laughs> there are four of them, and they are quickly approaching the scene. Uh, I'm my trying Corona, to get her to hold off real quick. <laughs> my Corona, D12 against me to see if you can beat the guards to the cheese. Oh. Nine. Eleven. Uh, you do manage to get over there. Uh, give me a perception check to see if you catch them out of your peripheral vision. 20. Oh, uh, you see them coming, so if you're going to hijack some cheese, you're going to have to make it quick. I'll snatch a piece of brie. Very nice. Uh, the guards approach you. Citizen, what are you doing? But they are not talking to you. Who are they talking to? The dead guy. Seriously? <clears throat> you see, he's dead, right? <clears throat> they are faceless automa automatons. Uh, one of them leans over and you see kind of a blue scorch pattern in a triangle on the individual's chest. Uh, one of the automatons turns to you and says, Citizen, step back. There has been a murder. Uh, is it a murder-death kill? step back. <laughs> it is a murder-death kill. Mm -hmm. I think we all know who's responsible for it, and we know he's not paying his taxes. <laughs> all right. You step back, uh, the automatons uh, secure the scene, and a spindly little old magistrate-looking fucker uh, comes in uh, with a young page, and we'll say it is a female. Uh, she has a book in her hand and a quill in the other, uh, the individual comes in and he goes, oh dear, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh, leans over, whispers to her, she begins to scribble some notes, uh, and he motions for the automatons to pack up the stall and go ahead and remove it from the marketplace. Wow. So are you guys going to sell any of that cheese at discount? Who are you asking? Uh, I guess whoever I need to, the little magistrate person. Uh, I'm sorry, what do you mean, dear? 
Well, what are you going to do with all this cheese? Uh, it will be boxed up and fed to the homeless, unless you'd like to make a donation. I'm good. Yeah. Continue on. <laughs> they, uh, they go ahead and box everything up uh, rather quickly uh, and whisk it away as though it were never there. Several other of the merchants in the area uh, slow their roll a little bit now that the trouble is gone. Uh, and they cast worried glances toward each other. What would you like to do? I'd like to ask them what they're so worried about. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> it, it's, it's never good when the guards come into the marketplace. And it's never good when one of our uh, associates dies. Does that happen often? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more than you'd expect. Uh, what are they dying of? usually a variety of causes. Uh, he died because he hit the cat. Mm. He's been hitting that cat all day long, and Mistress Uma was not happy about that. Where is Mistress Uma? Perception check. <laughs> nat, nat 20. <laughs> Uh, he looks oh, at I both ends of the spectrum there. <laughs> looks at Maya and goes, I don't know any mistress Uma and Zadar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, points further down into the market square. Okay, I, I look in that direction. Do I see anything? Do I see any traffic or automatons? Or uh, uh, you're looking uh, actively looking. Give me investigation. Yeah. Uh, investigation. Yeah. Intimidation. Uh, <laughs> uh, investigation. Uh, that'll be 17. Uh, you see a lady that looks a lot like something out of a Disney uh, movie wandering around. And for the 17, you also notice the cat. Is it Jasmine? <laughs> It is not Jasmine. Oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> yes. Big fan, big fan. Uh, I know they're not working, but if the Jasmine look like sir listening, well done. Uh, <laughs> no, this would be more of a Maleficent type. Oh, okay. Can okay. I talk to her? You don't see shit with a wand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I grab my by the by the shoulder and, and kind of turn her. I was just like. Uh, I think that might be her over there. Maya, you can reroll your perception. Or your investigation, rather. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> Not a clue. Don't see her. A lot of people there. Oh, God. No clue. Okay. Uh, I'm just like, follow me. <laughs> Fine. Uh, you go through. The other patrons of the marketplace are, again, rapidly closing up shop because uh, this dark sentient form is maneuvering her way along. Uh, you don't hear her speaking. You just see her calmly perusing things. The closer you get, the more you notice there's a feline at her feet. Ah, oh. it's just like it, uh, it appears that the feline did have an owner. <laughs> Very powerful owner, apparently. Apparently. Can I talk to her? Certainly, you may make contact with her. She has her back to you at this time. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. She turns around and she has a rather nasty, jagged scar from her eyebrow to her the corner of her mouth. Uh, not a very attractive woman. And she speaks in a uh, dulcet tone. What may I do for you? I am so glad to see that you got your cat back. That horrible cheesemonger was abusing him, and I tried to find him, and I couldn't. So I just want to make sure that he's okay. So you witnessed my apprentice being abused and you did nothing. Is that what I'm hearing? No, the cat ran off. I couldn't do anything. Did you reprimand the cheesemonger? Of course Act I did. He did, I, actually, ma'am. <laughs> I noticed that you have cheese in your hand, yet you still partook of his goods. I stole it. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Seven. Uh, 
I don't believe you. So. I spent my morning looking through the market, looking for the cat to make sure it was okay. Oh, really? The whole morning? Yes. And Did then I stole keys. <laughs> <laughs> or, okay, however long I've been here. So you're a liar. So you've been here like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole morning or the last 10 minutes in the afternoon. Right. Um, so you were a thief. Mm, eh, he was already dead when I took it. You know theft is not tolerated within the city walls of Cacophony. Well, neither is murder. D12? <laughs> Four. That is true. So are you an accomplished thief? I do okay. <laughs> and are you... To, speaking to Zadar, are you an accomplished thief as well? Uh, I can hold my own. I tend to be more of the investigator or purveyor of information. Hmm. And you are you appear as an elf. Mm-hmm. She looks down, she pulls forth a necklace with a blue stone on it. I don't think she would be able to see a changeling, right? Or would she? If it's a gem of scene, she would. Uh-oh. If Really? If, if it's okay. a gem of scene. So, Thebes, how would you like to do me a small favor for a very large investment? What would be the uh, favor? I need an item. Uh, unfortunately, the owner, uh, deity rest his soul, uh, has passed on before he was able to give it to me. I was wondering if you might be able to procure said item uh, from his mausoleum. Well, a mausoleum shouldn't be too hard now, should it be? Uh, so what's the reward? The reward is 200 gold pieces split between the two of you. Certainly that is more than enough for thieves of your caliber. Really? Now you're just going to be insulting? You can always fight her if you want. I would not suggest it. Not with the way I've been rolling. No, thank you. So Dara shakes his head. Not a good idea. Yeah. So do you want to try to get this thing for her? Or are we going to just say, eh? Well, I could use 100 gold. How about yourself? It would buy me more cheese. Hmm? Oh. That it would. It'd be, be a whole lot of fromage for you. <laughs> Tick tock, you two. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll do it. Uh, okay. Madam Uma, if you can just point the way to the mausoleum, we will be on our way. Which entrance did you come in from the city? Uh, we went through the, through the gates. Yeah. Did we go through the cemetery? Oh, we went by it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not very observant. So. <laughs> oh. If you've come through the cemetery, then you've seen all the mausoleums and the headstone. All you need to do is find the mausoleum of John Cena's career, <laughs> obtain a small, tiny ring, uh, probably still wearing it on his pinky, uh, and bring it to me. Once this is accomplished, I will gladly pay you the money I have promised you. Is there anything we need to know about the mausoleum? Are there any well, curses it's probably on protected it? by traps. Okay. Awesome. Just physical traps? Sure, we'll say that. Okay. All right then. So, what time of day is it? Uh, it's afternoon. Do you want to do this now or do you want to wait till tomorrow? Uh, well, uh, she seems to be on a time schedule. So. I, I would suggest that you probably not do it in broad daylight. Probably I wouldn't, not. wouldn't think that I would have to tell accomplished thieves that, but if you're that good and you want to try it in broad daylight, go right ahead. What do you think, Zadar? Well, I mean, we could, we could pose as a couple of grave keepers if we could find some tools and shabby clothing could do that or we could oppose as mourners that too that too 
Maybe we'll I mean, case the joint and then come back later. Mm-hmm. We're most in we're mostly in black, or at least I am. I always wear black. So um, party of goth too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh is there still like a flower vendor or anything nearby? D twelve against me. Okay. Five. Uh nine. The arborist is still packing up her wares. Okay. I suggest we try to catch uh, catch the arborist right away. Okay. Let's go do that. Okay. Uh, Madam Uma, we take our leave, and we will begin our ruse. Yes, yes. Uh, did you want to know how to contact me? Yeah, I was just going to say, where do we That would be nice. <laughs> okay. Um, can you guys both see the screen? Yes. Uh, uh, I just... No, I don't see the screen. Hang on, because I'm not sharing it. Ah. Uh, there you go. See that? Yes. yes. Now I do. Oh, okay. Uh, she points out vague directions uh, that is directly behind the large rectangular building right here. Mm. Okay. You see my cursor? Yep. Right. She is right here in this tower. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And sure. it stands head and shoulders above everything else in this place. It also seems to be on the highest point in the city. Okay. Uh, the gold, the green, and the blue are all the high points of the city. Two is slanting downward towards the dock region by the sea. Um, she says, once you've accomplished it, uh, come and see me. Do not come and see me very late. If it's very late, come and see me the next morning. Do you have any other questions before I take my leave of you and you of me? Why do you want no. the ring? That's really none of your concern. Okay. I think we're best if we don't ask any more questions <laughs> about the said merchandise. <laughs> so. I would also caution you not to discuss this job as members of the syndicate would not be happy if they knew the ring was in someone else's hands. Hmm. Well, was that uh, was this a was John Cena a former member of the syndicate or any kind of organization? You know, like yes. WWE. Or... <laughs> awesome. Yes, he was a member of the syndicate. Okay, so yes, this was would he definitely. A he was not. He and I did not see. <laughs> eye to eye on a great number of things. Probably because you're taller than him. I am very tall. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? I say let's go get some flowers. Uh, yes, so we hustle out cookies over to go get the flowers. Perception check, both of you. Oh boy. Ooh, 17. 19. You both hear a poof, turn around, and there's just uh, dissipating black smoke where your benefactor was just standing. That is so cool. God, I can't wait until I can do that. You see a crow carrying a cat yes. through the air. Wow. That is impressive. That is awesome. That's a big She's my crow. hero. Yeah, that is. Yeah, it's a big crow. So, uh, okay. you approach uh, the flower vendor uh and it is a male uh, he's very happy to see you uh how may i assist you as i pack up my goods uh thank you good sir uh we need some we uh some flowers we are actually in mourning so we need something appropriate perhaps lilies maybe roses i have lilies uh okay. they are always a standard favorite for those who are in mourning okay you can have a peace lily if you like it. It's in its own pot. Um, no. <laughs> hot, hot fuzz reference right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we uh, we will take um, uh, how much do you think? Uh, how much? How, how many? Yeah. How how many lilies do you have? A uh, few silver pieces. Okay. And how many will we get for? Each and... half dozen half dozen yeah okay that works. okay it should be fairly inexpensive 
sure. We'll we'll go ahead and and we'll we'll take those. Okay. This, this time, my Corona gave me a D twenty. Three. Uh, as you are purchasing your uh, flowers, uh, you hear the tromping of guards as they move about. One of the guards turns towards the arborist and says, Citizen, it is time to move along. Do not dally. They tromp down to the next stall. Citizen, it is time to withdraw. So is there a curfew here? Who are you asking? The... Uh, arborist. Arborist. Uh, we only have a very limited amount of time in which to go ahead and sell our wares in the marketplace. Uh, those found loitering afterwards are usually arrested. But you can just walk around the city, though, right? I mean, or does nobody get to walk around in the city? You can walk around in the city. As vendors, we are under a stricter guideline. Okay. Just the, yeah. syndic the syndicate uses this area for other purposes. Ah, I see. So are well, the automatons working for the syndicate? Yes. Oh, good to know. Okay, well then we won't keep you. We'll just take your flowers and skedaddle. There is a large gathering of syndicate members this evening. They are having their annual syndicate ball. There's, ah. only, there's only one because the syndicate only has one That's ball. one ball. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the secret policeman's other ball. <laughs> exactly. That's funny. Um, uh, is this the arborist telling us uh, this information about the ball? Mm -hmm. Very well. Hey, Thank hey. you. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Good luck. And she or he hurriedly starts to move things up and pack them in. Okay. Well. Keep you, no so you, you each have a, a handful of Conan the Barbarian flowers. Awesome. <laughs> we need to pull up our hoods. <laughs> All right, then, shall we go? Uh, sure, sure. So I guess we will follow our way uh, down towards the cemetery. And as we get closer, uh, I have a hood, so I will don the hood. I just okay. start crying uncontrollably. And uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> I make myself sad, look like bean smile. <laughs> I make myself look like an old crone. Very nice. Uh, my Corona, give me a performance check. Uh, ten. It'll pass. Uh, as you head out the northwest gate, uh, several merchants are moving back out into the countryside. Uh, the cheesemonger would have gone that way had he not been there. God rest his soul. As you get outside, uh, you see a beggar's grave to the right, and there are four automatons. Uh, they have dug a hole, and they have plopped the cheese uh, merchant into the hole and are now kicking dirt atop of it. Okay. An unmarked grave. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, witnessing this, we kind of, uh, I, I suggest we kind of follow around, but if they catch our, if they catch sight of us and question us, just tell them that uh, we're, we're here to uh, mourn this Pop poor beggar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Prop him up. <laughs> no. So but, is there uh, like, a, like a map to the cemetery that where people are uh not really okay. some of the headstones are marked the buildings are marked as well okay. well uh, look at looking at the map uh there's at least one building on the right and four buildings on the left okay these would be uh dirty limestone buildings uh a little bit of brack brackish nature built up on them lichens etc there are a few sparse trees, uh, and then on the right side, the graves look eh, questionable in nature. On the left, uh, they appear a whole lot better. Uh, carved headstones, things of that nature. Give me a perception check, both of you. 15. 18. You both notice that uh, the Poe side of town is probably on the right. Well, if he was a member of the syndicate, surely he would have a nicer mausoleum. Uh, what? 
one would think if it's a uh, higher ranking and if this thing, uh, if the person has a ring that Madam Uma is interested in, I would think there would be a higher ranking member of the syndicate. So maybe we should uh, check out the richer side of the cemetery first. That sounds good. Okay. If we get stopped by the guards, then uh, while passing the cheesemaker's grave, we'll just drop a lily on the grave and kind of yeah, mourn and kind of yeah. kind of walk on. <laughs> uh, yes, the uh, guards have stopped kicking dirt onto the grave hump, and uh, if you want, you can leave a flower if you'd like. Sure, sure. Uh, As an old crone, I'll I'll bend over, kind of whimpering. And, as a lover place, of cheese, place a I, will, I will leave a lily as well. Fair enough. Uh, the guards seem to be tromping back into the city gates and pay you no mind. Oh, uh, Zadar, d12 against me. Okay. Nine. <laughs> there are uh, eight people at a grave site on the left side of the road. Uh, they are all doing a lot more mourning than uh, my corona is. Uh, mm -hmm. They are completely distraught. Uh, their apparel is uh, decent to above average, uh, and they are at a small headstone of a leprechaun. Of a leprechaun? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, from this distance, can I make out a name on the gravestone? Investigation. Okay. Uh, investigation. Um, that will be 21. <laughs> Craftsman O'Toole. <laughs> Craftsman O'Toole. Nice. <laughs> that is right, awesome. right there underneath the leprechaun. Oh, no, leprechaun. O'Toole. O'Toole. Okay. Uh, I kind of snicker and, you know. Oh, that's nice. That, that's beautiful. <laughs> D12 against me. Let's see if the mourners hear your nice. <laughs> I, I pass it off as a sneeze. <laughs> Six. Ha. You do pass it off as a sneeze. Yeah, I'm an old crone, so I kind of give a little wheeze and all that, too. So. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, go ahead. While that's going on, can we use that to, as a distraction to kind of scout out the rest of the mausoleums? Uh, the O'Toole family seems to be focused on the burial, uh, the recent burial of the dead. So you should have no problem in meandering about. Okay. Okay. So we're we're trying to be as observant as possible, not to cause any attention to us from the mourners and uh, uh, search the graves, the okay. mausoleums. Uh, D twelve, or you know what, D six, Zadar. Four. Ooh. Uh, you see the Roebuck um, mausoleum. Uh, my Corona, D6. Six. One. Uh, you see the J.C. Penn uh, mausoleum. Uh, back to Zadar. D6. Two. Two matches. You find uh, Cena. And uh, I kind of you know, cronishly look and point my finger to Cena and get my attention. My Corona, you notice that uh, Zdar has successfully spotted the mausoleum in question. It kind of sits in an open area. I believe it's here, dearie. <laughs> well, I, I will grab her arm and help lead her over to the mausoleum. Performance check. Natural 20. Nine. Uh, you help the infirmed crone uh, maneuver over. You see a set of brass doors uh, with a very hefty lock on it. Uh, it. The disturbance in the steps indicates that uh, there was recent activity here. Hmm. Okay. Not like 10 minutes ago, but within the last day or so. Okay. Uh, is there is there a is yeah like a stone vase or something like that to leave flowers? No, there is not. There is not. There is a a stone closed trunk. Stone closed trunk. 
okay. on either side of two pillars holding up the canopy, which is good because in the distance, thunder, thunder. Oh, fuck. Okay. It'll be okay unless it rains. <laughs> so, can I? Uh, walk, go ahead. Can I'm I sorry. Walk around and see if there are there windows in this thing. There are two small vents. Uh, the size of bread uh, near the top of the vaulted ceiling. Well, that's hmm. not going to work. You said that there was doors or something mm -hmm. like that? Two okay. brass doors with a uh, hefty lock on them. Can I do an investigation check? Sure. Okay. I'm going to check out the lock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, investigation, let's see, 19 plus, uh, yeah, uh, five, so... 14. I mean, uh, 24. <laughs> Sorry. Glass? Uh, I'm a rogue. Oh, okay. Uh, then, yes, you notice that it is trapped. Okay. Um, hmm. Perception uh, check, both of you. Me? Both of you. Oh, okay. Uh, perception. Uh, uh, 14. 17, actually. My Corona, what was yours? Six. Uh, my Corona, you're focused on uh, the activity of your cohort. Meanwhile, um, Zadar, you notice that uh, there's some movement behind you along the road. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of turn slyly and uh, kind of take a look through, through a crone's eyes. <laughs> I have an eye that looks milky, but I can see. <laughs> wow. Uh, you're painting just the ultimate portrait there. Uh, mm -hmm. You notice it's a bunch of individuals dressed in, uh, for lack of a better term, finery. Mm -hmm. uh, pinstripe finery. Oh, ah. Are they headed this way? They are headed this way. Hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, we'll just, um, we'll play it off that this is like, um, a religious, uh, fest or something like that and just leave an orchard at the, at the mausoleum and kind of like take our, take our leave to the other side and act as like we're putting a flower there and, uh, just kind of keep a wary eye on them to see if they say anything. And if, they and I say to my if they say anything, we're just mourners putting flowers on the graves for just to uh, yeah, for our deity or whatever. That works. What's our okay. deity? Do we have mm, one? Uh Clemavore. There there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh straight up D twenty rolls from both of you. Okay. Nineteen. I switched my dice. Uh let's see. Uh seven. Uh, Zadar, they give you a sideways glance, okay. kind, of, kind of look at you. Uh, my Corona, not so much for you. Uh, they notice that you have flowers. They notice uh, the orchid on the cheesemonger's grave. They notice the orchid that you left here, and they dismiss it. Uh, they walk up to the, br the brass doors. Uh, one of them pulls out a key inserts it, opens up the lock, and the four of them venture inside. And I'm just like, this just got a little more complicated. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's see. <sighs> I'm not pretty sure we could persuade our way into there, but um i don't know maybe we can make our way uh towards uh another grave within sight and just kind of i think we should act... ask them for money alms <laughs> yes okay alms uh, to buy more orchids for the graves do you have um i i have a pouch so yeah we could we could ask i'll put i'll put a couple silver pieces in it and we'll we'll, we'll yes. shake it Right, because okay. you look like an old crone, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. I take it there's somebody outside. No, uh, at all, the, no. all four have gone inside. All uh, four have. And a brilliant light 
fills the room from a torch that has been uh, illuminated inside. Oh, okay. So this group of four, what are they? Male, female? All four males. All four males in pinstripe. Okay. Pinstripe finery. Awesome. Capone, Luciano. Great. <laughs> Floyd. <laughs> yep, exactly. So there is a pretty boy? <laughs> there is a pretty boy in there. So I say that we stand out here and pretend like we're doing some sort of like... Eh, okay. I, I pull my... my listen. <laughs> I, I pull my he, uh, hood up a little, little higher and in the speed of thought turn into a very buxom blonde. Okay. Well, that... Okay. That works. You know, but still collecting alms. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I go up with my flowers, and if they see us in plain view, I'm pretty sure I will catch Pretty Boy Floyd's attention. Maybe. That seems rather presumptuous of you. Apparently, you didn't watch last night's show. Uh, <laughs> I came in halfway through, so I missed to, the good You need to part. watch the beginning. <laughs> uh, okay. You, uh, my Corona, are you walking up with him? Yes. Or her? Uh, as you walk up, you notice that inside, you probably expected to see a coffin. Inside, there are stairs going down, uh. and just a an orb of light uh, is down below. Clearly, the four individuals have gone into some kind of underground tunnel. So hmm. is there anywhere to hide inside here? No. <sighs> Is there anybody standing like on either side of the stairs or anything like that? Here's all four of them have gone downstairs. They're making their way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, God, it's just like I wish I could have afforded uh, glamoured armor. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Your first level. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Going up against four syndicate members in a crypt and it's about to rain. Yeah. Nothing could possibly, possibly go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah, I push the dar down the steps. Nice, nicely done. Uh, uh, give welcome me to Murder Hopo. Uh, well, my Corona, in distress. Give me strength, uh, Zadar. Give me a dexterity check. Okay, I'll say it, but just a check. I'm gonna see if I can do a Pratt fall. <laughs> I get 20. Uh, let's see, uh, dexterity, yep. uh, 13. Oh, yeah. You go flying down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you can pull off your pratfall. Probably not. <laughs> uh, do, do I do, do I add like acrobatics to it? Nope, just a D12. Okay, five. Uh, no, but your voluptuous appearance does allow you for a softer than normal landing, and you collapse. Now, give me a very important D12 roll against me. Okay. Two. Four. Uh, you notice when you reach the bottom of the stairs, because clearly you stumbled, uh, there is a hallway, a hallway, and a hallway. Okay. Have I the hallway straight ahead tees off. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you know, I'm kind of whimpering a little bit, but kind of just in case if anybody is coming. Where are the floor so, at? So you're making noise? I'm trying not to be too loud about it. Okay. Uh, the orb of light seems to have gone straight and to the left because you can see the dim radiance of it. Okay. So is there um, anywhere to hide in here? You could probably go down a hallway and uh, hope that they don't come that way, I suppose. Yeah. Well, my, I mean, are you standing at the door? Well, I come down. <laughs> admiring, to... admiring your work? Oh, that's right. So I go down the stairs to look, and, you know, that way if they come back, I can say, oh, my friend fell. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And while I do that, I push her boobs up. So, nice. you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, my Corona, you're a human, correct? Uh, no, I'm a high elf. Oh, so you can see. Mm -hmm. Do you have dark visions that are? Uh, I think chainslings do, do they? Yeah, we'll say they do. Uh, okay. So the hallway that you are both in now is very dim. Mm -hmm. um, I have, by the time you went down the stairs, the orb of radiance has already dissipated 
Zadar can, if he, she chooses, tell you that it went straight ahead and to the left. Okay. And I tell her it went straight ahead and to, to the, the left. left. Well, to the left. Do we hear where the people might be at? Uh, audio perception check. Both of you. Okay. 18. Um, uh, 21. You both hear some metal on metal fidgeting, and you hear a like a door swinging open. Okay. And we can tell where it's coming from. It's coming from where where he pointed out the uh, illumination was from. left. Okay. Okay. Well, we know there are four of them. <laughs> so we got a choice. We could either investigate further, try to sneak our way in, or we can lay an ambush. Mm. That's a great idea. I'd go with that plan. <laughs> Against four people. Sure. I don't think that's going to go well. <laughs> Well, it could be candy houses. So it could be commoners. You're the voluptuous person. We can make some noise and just leave you down here at the bottom of the thing, and you can use your feminine wiles on them and steal the key out of the pocket. I'll stay here, grab the ring. You come back and let me out. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We'll give that a just shot. That out there. <laughs> We're just give it a shot. Okay. I'll sit there and I'll kind of pull up, uh, you know, uh, you know, my leg a little bit, show a little flesh. <laughs> and I'll give you the flowers. Just be kind of kind of weeping and all that. Okay. So, can a changeling make any effects like to their skin or skin texture? Make it look like bruised? Probably. Sure. Yeah, I would say they were formations. Um, what is it? V Vitilago. <laughs> sure. I, I'll give you that. Uh, where sure. are you, where are you going to be hiding, Maya? Uh, I guess one of the hallways. Which one? <sighs> Not the one to the left. <laughs> well, there's one to the left, one to the right, the straight hall, one to the left, one to the right. They went straight hall, one to the left. So if you think of it as a tic-tac-toe board. Ah, I see. Uh, uh, has it started raining? Uh, you're downstairs. You have no idea. I have no idea. Do I hear rain falling? Uh, not off the tile roof, you don't. Okay. Okay. So I'll go the opposite direction that they went. So you'll go straight and to the right? Yes. Um... Okay. Has yeah, anybody but Blake's in the waiting room? What? Blake? Blake is in the waiting room. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Zadar. Uh, I, I don't hear anybody coming yet, right? Perception check. Okay. Uh, probably not with that score. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, six and three, nine. No, you do not hear anything coming. Okay, okay. Um, I, I'm going to kind of turn into my cloak a little bit, and I'm going to yeah. invent, invent on my daggers real quick, and then put them back, place them back in their scabbards. Okay, so you are sitting at the bottom of the stairs, mm -hmm. waiting. My Corona, where did you go? To straight and to the right. Straight and to the right. Mm -hmm. When you get to the straight and to the right, you notice that there's a door here. If you look back, there's a door down there, but it's open. Is it unlocked? Give me a check. Give me an investigation check. Uh, 11. Um, it is unlocked. So I take some brie out of my pack and I rub it <laughs> on the hinges so they don't squeak and I try to open the door. Performance check. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, squeaky wheel gets the cheese. 
15. <laughs> sure, I'll give that. Uh, you open up the door, and inside the room is a stone coffin uh, and some grotesque statues. Do you want to leave the door open, or do you want to shut the door? I'll shut the door. Very good. Uh, Zadar, give me another perception check. Uh, let's see. That's a uh, 20, 30. Uh, somebody is coming down the stairs behind you. Okay. I turn over, my, uh, I turn to look, I, you know, kind of slyly, you know, still, still kind of weepy a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Blake, uh, what are you playing today? I figured it would only be prudent. <laughs> Great. Oh my God, is it? Oh, please tell me it's uh... at first level. Uh, yes. it, it appears to be a holy woman walking down the stairs, curious as to why the uh, um, mausoleum is open. Uh, Prudence, you have uh, discovered as you tour through the graveyard outside of Cacophony, uh, one of the mausoleum doors is open. As you wander down to investigate, you notice a voluptuous female uh, with bruises, apparently, sitting at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, Prudence is a human, though, right? A half elf. Okay. Uh, you may have your pick. You can use dark vision, or you could have illuminated a torch. I, I, it wouldn't be prudent to illuminate a torch. Fair enough. Uh, you see the body of this woman down at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, you two may now interact freely. If I were prudence, I'd yell out, hey, what's going on? <laughs> well, no, I, 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 I am curious what someone's doing here. I, I'm assuming this is the mausoleum near near a, the temple. So I'm, I'm assuming these are grave desecrators. I think that's a fair assessment. <clears throat> well, that's just rude. And actually, if you look at your screen. Does she say that? <laughs> uh, they are in area one. They okay. are outside the walls of the city. Okay. You would have been coming to the city and probably headed for this region on uh, the hillside. Okay, so I'm arriving at the city. Correct. Okay. But, but you have perceived that a mausoleum over here, uh, the door is open, and you are getting ready to seek shelter as there is a thunderstorm headed this way. Ah, a thunderstorm. Uh, was was I able to perceive whose mausoleum or crypt this was oh, when I Lord. before I entered? Uh, I, yes, the name Cena is on it. J Cena. Fair enough. Uh, perception check, prudence. Perception check, Zadar. I was gonna say, are you going to describe his countenance? <laughs> Nineteen. Uh, I look as though I've smelled something foul. Uh, Mine is a 16. Uh, you both hear noises upstairs as another individual wanders into this mausoleum. Jesus, this place is party. starting to get full. Uh, what character are you playing today, Kyle? Yeah, Kyle. <laughs> I was just seeing if you would make the bad mistake of adding me in the middle of a walk where I clearly don't have any dice. That doesn't matter. You That's all right. He can roll for you. Yeah, I'll, roll, I'll for roll for you. It can't get any worse than that. What, what character would you like to play? Oh, no. I was just seeing if you would make that bad decision. I'm actually going to hang up now. Okay. Uh, uh, damn it. This is going to get interesting. <laughs> Prudence and Zadar, you no longer hear anybody meandering about the front. Okay, oh, it must so. have been a passerby. <laughs> it was just a passerby out for a freaking walk with his kid, apparently. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so there you go. Uh, Okay. Prudence has inquired what the hell's going on here, you thieving bastard grave robbing bitch. Um, just or like or I, I may have paraphrased. No, 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 that's probably about accurate. Oh, and it's just like, oh, I am, I am sorry. Uh, it's just like, the, I was a... appears to be a very attractive, however, abused woman. Yeah, I, I was here for um, laying lilies on the graves, uh, observing the, the feast of Clemovor. And, and Zadar does have flowers. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, the the rain started, so I moved in closer to the mausoleum. The door swung open, and I fell down the stairs and twisted my ankle. Zadar, performance, uh, prudence, insight. Okay. Uh, okay. Performance. That's going to be a nineteen. <clears throat> uh, something does not jive with her story. Uh, I I tried to purchase more orchids, but the the guards they they ran the arborist off. You no, know, orchid is Latin for testicle. That's how that got that name. Wow! Wow! I did not know that. Uh, actually, we're doing lilies, but lilies are in the orchid family, so <laughs> we'll call uh, Giorgio Keith to handle that. I. I, I, I believe that you're full of bullshit. Uh, if you need to lay flowers at the grave, the graves are upstairs. Uh, there's a hand railing right here to help you assist on your way out. Oh, well, 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 thank you, dear Clark. Um, there uh, are, uh, Prudence, give me... Uh, uh, I'd like to do that intimidation if possible. You can, and then give me uh, perception checks. Okay. Uh, intimidation is a 12. Uh, and what am I rolling to counter that? Uh, you can roll intimidation as well. Okay. If uh, levels higher, you are fifteen. Okay. Uh, my my my, in, my <laughs> intimidation is sixteen. Okay, so you are not intimidated by this priestess. However, uh, what is your perception check after that? Mine was fifteen. Yep. Uh, my perception wasn't that high. It was six. Uh, Zadar, you do not hear the creaking of the door behind you. Prudence, you hear uh, clearly there is someone else in this mausoleum. Uh, my Corona, give me a perception check. And, th and this is forward from me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, there's a hallway that goes left and right and straight, and then another hallway left right. 13. Uh, my Corona, behind your door, you can hear the creaking on the opposite end of the hallway. Clearly, the individuals are coming out. Uh, I, I say to the cleric, are you here to secure the grave? Uh, before I, I fell, I, um, I could have swore I saw somebody at the door here, and then they were gone. Under the bus goes my Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there are other people in here, so if my Corona is smart, she's taking cover. <laughs> now, Prudence, uh, Zadar clearly does not hear the noise behind him. You do. Okay, so I, I'm, but but that would jive based on what he just or what she just said. So correct. Uh, as you listen to her soliloquy, you notice uh, an orb of light moving its way towards the main hall. I'm just like, someone is here. And this that, is behind you or in front of me? This would be behind, uh, in front of you behind Zadar at the far end of the hallway on the left. Zadar, you now hear the noise. Uh, doing a sideways glance, you also see the ball of illumination headed this way. Yes. Uh, just a like a will-o'-the-wisp type looking thing? or, or what? Torch light. Oh, OK. I... Four individuals in finery pinstripe finery uh come around the corner give me an arcana check prudence okay uh twenty two uh before you were sent off for your vespers at this location you were told to be careful as the city of cacophony is run by the syndicate I recognize, uh, I, 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 I'm guessing two of them have violin cases. No violin cases at this point in time. Although one might be a viola. We aren't really okay. sure. Or a bassoon. Uh, but they, do they seem to be, is, it, is this an aimless type movement or are they walking with purpose? They walk with purpose and as they round the corner, the leader holding the uh, torch, who is Pretty Boy Floyd, uh, stops dead in his tracks and each one of them reaches down to their waistbands and approach with a very specific purpose at a much faster rate. <laughs> oh, who are you? 
and I removed my are you guys? And I removed my cloak and just let that oh, platinum hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. that me, that that platinum blonde hair just cascades over my bosoms. <laughs> give me a uh, give me a roll. Nice. Uh, it, just a straight roll. Straight roll, add your charisma. Okay, straight roll with charisma, charisma. Okay, that'll be sixteen. Oh, uh, you have pretty boy Floyd's attention. Okay, I slowly, uh, I slowly bat the eyes. Okay, uh, it'll take a while for them to notice such a seductive pose. Uh, but they continue forward. Uh, can I get a decept- can I get a deception being aware of the syndicate to say that I was sent by uh, the. You aren't making your case. <laughs> <laughs> the capo? I don't fucking know. Uh, you can try as soon as they approach you. Uh, my Corona, you hear footsteps. You hear, oh, yo, you guys, what are you doing here? Uh, as it goes towards the entrance. Uh, so from your hidden location, uh, there's not really a problem. Uh, clearly, they've walked past you. Uh, as the uh, four good fellas uh, approach you, uh, pretty boy Floyd focuses his attention on Zadar. Uh, the other capo leader, uh, we'll call him uh, Frankie Two Fingers, goes, "Hey, uh, hey, hey, there, princess. What are you doing here?" Uh, I reached my hand out to I, the cleric. <laughs> no, no, I, I was either down here. <laughs> I raised my my hands up to the cleric and it's just like, "Dear sister, will you, will you lend me a hand to to stand up, please?" Uh, yes, and I'll, I'll I'll play into this, and I'll go ahead and and brace and help you up. So, so, thank you. You get the impression uh, that it's okay to to lean heavily on my shoulder if you need to. I do, and I just kind of stick out my chest a little bit like that. <laughs> you, guys are no toy, master, right? uh, yeah. you guys are no masters of seduction. I'll uh, say uh, that right now. I'm like, and I look at her. I'm like, thank you, sister. Are and. You- uh, Frankie Two Fingers, who is adept at stealing key rings, apparently, wants to know why, uh, well, what's the holy woman doing here? Uh, uh, hey, uh, hey we, sister, what's your problem? Hey, uh, hey, oh, uh, I uh, was. Uh, Please tell you- me you're Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. Uh, uh, Sister Sophia Coppola from uh, next door. I was uh, I was sent to help back you up. Back us up for what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the answer they were looking for. Back us up for what? I, I say she was she was actually here to help me. Uh, I was placing hey, I can flowers. Help you. I can help you up all night long. I can oh. help you up twice a night. Oh really? I really helped you up from the looks of it. Oh, oh hey. hey. Oh hey, oh hey, hey. Uh initiative, my corona. <laughs> Uh, 17. Uh, that beats me. You feel a slight tug at your ankles. Oh. Okay. Can I see what's tugging at my ankle? You look down and it appears to be a desiccated hand with another desiccated hand dragging itself across the tomb floor. Oh. Is there anything attached to the hands? Nope. Uh, it is just the hand at the wrist. Uh, give me a history check. Is there a ring on the hands? There is not a ring on the hand. Good question. Uh, give us the ring. 13. Uh, you would probably know that these are uh, low level undead known as crawling claws. <laughs> I just stomp on them. Go ahead and uh, roll to attack. Hopefully you can do it quietly. Oh, I didn't think about that. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I throw Mazel my three down on top of each one. <laughs> uh, You've used a lot of Bree tonight. I had two wedges or two things. Um, you had two wedges or two wheels? Two wheels. <laughs> Are you just going to do a foot stomp? Yes. Okay, go ahead and do a foot stomp, see if you hit it. Uh, five. 
<laughs> you slip on a small sliver of brie that you use to grease the hinges. Uh, the crawl and crawl. The outside. All right, it followed you in. Uh, does a 14 it's hit you? Like, like, it's a, it's a uh, crumble. No. You're applying it. it, it it's it, blue crumbles. Blue cheese crumbles. Uh, 14 does not hit you. Uh, outside, uh, give me a perception check, Zadar, and Prudence, and I will roll for the good fellow. Uh, perception, uh, ba, 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 ba. let's see. Okay, uh, 15. Okay. Uh, 17 plus 23. You both hear. <laughs> but the good fellas, uh, at least uh, Pretty Boy Floyd is kind of focused down. Uh, <laughs> uh, Two Finger Frankie is uh, trying to figure out whether to ask you to absolve him of his sins or ask you what the hell you're doing here. Uh, the other two good guys, uh, Odd, Zadar, even Cruz. Uh, even prudence and even prudence. Uh, so three of the good fellows are looking at you, prudence. Uh, Lucky Luciano is just dripping uh, drool down onto his boots as he's like, hey, how are you doing? I have Joey, Lucky Luciano. How are you doing? Oh, I, I, I've never once killed anyone named Joey. Uh, so uh, prudence, there are three of them asking what you, back up for what? What are you what, what are you here for, sister? I'm uh, I'm here to. Uh, We've to, already uh, done the pump you up. I, I've so received reports that there was a, an undead scourge down here. That's why they sent the cleric. There's no one dead here. It's just us. The, the, are you the, are you sure? I'm not dead. Are are you sure? Have you been Have you been everywhere in here? Well, we were just in that one. So you haven't been everywhere in here. That's what you're telling me. You want us to go check? Yeah, I, I, I would love for you to go check. Ah, asshole. <laughs> uh, my Corona, you won the initiative last time, so go ahead and see if you can smash the claw. There are now two uh, reaching up uh, to pull down your ankle socks. 15. Oh, yeah, 15 hits it. Uh, give me a D6 damage, and you can use your strength modifier as additional. Uh, five. Uh, Zadar and uh, Prudence, you here again. Uh, oh yeah, what? what the hell was that? I told I, I. So you, like I said, you haven't been everywhere in here. They will decide to heed your advice, push you back a little bit, and go down the left hallway uh, to one of the rooms. Uh, two of them will. Frankie Two Fingers is going to stay with you. You couldn't pry Lucky Luciano or Pretty Boy Floyd off of you unless you told him you had PD. I put my arm around, you know, I've got my arm around the sister and I put one around Floyd and I'm just like, be careful, boys. <laughs> oh, Prudence, what are you doing? When he pushes me back, do they have to roll to see if they get boob? Uh, they get side boob. Yeah, I'll um, see. I'm gonna I'm gonna take umbrage at an un, at an un, uh, un, un, uh... seventeen. They grab you by the knob of your shoulders. So. Okay, okay. Here's a sister. They go they go down, and you look down the hallway, and then you look down this hallway, and there's just doors at either end. Uh, they fiddle around and they're fiddling with their keys. Uh, my Corona, the other falling claw. Uh, seventeen hit you? No. Uh, go ahead and go round three. Go ahead and see if you can kill this other claw. Eleven. Uh, any bonuses? Uh, I'll take strength modifier. Plus two. Oh, yes, you hit it with a 13. Okay. So you stomp down on the other claw. How much damage do you do? D6 plus strength? Uh, nine. You have managed to crush both of them, and you guys here. Uh, the two individuals uh, down in the left, they're like, nope, nothing here but Johnny. Uh, but that's not where the sound was coming from. They're stupid. They don't know where the sound was coming from. 
would you like to point them out where the sound Ab is? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, what are you going to tell them? So, well, they, did they come back and notify me that they found nothing? Yeah, they come back and they say, that John's the only thing in there. Okay, well, but what about over there? Are you pointing right or high left, high right? Wherever the sound came from. Uh, give me a perception check. As long as it's above uh, 10, you know where it's coming from. Yeah. If it's below 10, you know it's one it, of it's the two right. It's in here. That's fair. Uh, perception uh, 12 plus uh, 18. Uh, you say uh, it's down there on the right. Confidently. Confidently. You're, you're very sure. Uh, they look at you. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what kind of undead is it? I don't know. You're the ones checking. Well, if the boss sent you, why don't you go check? Okay. I'll go check. Okay. Now I would like to grab him gently by the shoulder and move him out of my way. Okay. Uh, are you coming as I'm as I'm moving? Uh, uh, lucky, uh, lucky, or uh, pretty boy Floyd ain't gonna let her out. No, so. no, no uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Dave. What's your character? Uh, Zadar. 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 You you feel me start to move? Are you coming? It's just like um, before like, I'm, you. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying anything, but you. you no, no. I'm I'm gonna kind of cover for you. I'm, I'm kind of using my intuition on this. Okay. So, so I kind of lean up against Floyd and do my best Jessica Rabbit, flap the eyes and says, what does- Oh, you have is complete and utter- And I'm just like, what does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? I've been putting flowers on graves all day. I'm so deep per in persuade mourning. Persuade me. <laughs> persuade me, Zadar. Uh, okay, not too bad. Um, let's see. Uh, persuasion? Mm -hmm. uh, about a 15. Uh, he's going to tell the other two, hey, uh, go over to my ha uh, my horse and uh, get in the saddlebag, uh, get out that decanter. Uh, the, the, this, lovely, lovely, this lovely lady needs, she needs a drink. Go get it. Uh, they tell him to go fuck himself, and uh, there's going to be a shoving match in Sue's. Uh, Prudence, you're wandering down the hallway. My Corona, go ahead and give me a perception check. I I am not clanking. I, I Prudence never wears heavy armor. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, you hear footsteps coming down. Uh, footsteps. <laughs> so you said that there was a coffin in here. Yep. Can I hide it's behind it? Sure, that's fine. Uh, Prudence, uh, you get to the end and you look back and you see all three of the good fellas shoving each other. Uh, and Frankie, two fingers, just sits down on the stairs. He, he doesn't know. These guys are idiots. Uh, and he's kind of, you know, side eyeballing uh, Zadar's ass. <laughs> uh, but as you get there, uh, you notice to your left, there's a door. To the right, there's a door. You've already perceived that the sound is coming from the right. Uh, and as you get down there, give me another perception check. This one will be smelling. <laughs> you, know, you know Prudence is doing a smell check. Yep. You'll know why in a minute. <laughs> I, I'm like, something smells of faintly of, of a good brie. Uh, that's a 17. Correct. Uh, you smell brie and you notice some chunks down on the floor, uh, as well as a little bit on the hinges. Would you like to check the door? Not at the moment. I would okay. like to kill a few minutes or just a, just a little time. Okay. And then full run retreat. Uh, we can't, we, nope, nope, nope. We can't fucking handle this. It's a lich. It's a lich. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Holy shit, a lich, a lich. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, give me a persuasion check on all four of them, please. Four okay. rolls. Four rolls? Okay. Mm -hmm. Frankie, two fingers is first. Uh, Pretty Boy Floyd is second. Okay. 
which is important. A lich, I do declare. <laughs> oh, good, a golden. I can I kind of, I kind of, I kind of faint. Vapors, the vapors again. I kind of faint a little bit. Plus is. Is this deception or performance? Uh, your choice. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It's the same. Okay, so it's seventeen. Uh, seven. Nat twenty. Uh, uh, fifteen. Frankie, two fingers, and the other two thugs take off up the stairs. Lich. Ah, pre boy Floyd straps both arms around Jessica Rabbit and says, don't worry, hon, I've fought these before. It's just like, oh, you're so, such a strapping, good-looking guy. I'm sure you could handle this. Uh, Prudence, are you going to go up the stairs as well? Since you've raised uh, if, No, if he's sticking around, I'm, he's like, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go as backup. I'll make sure nothing happens to you, but I, I advise against it. But yeah, no, if, if, if we're doing this, we're doing this. Sinar? Uh, what do you want to do with uh, your new uh, protege here? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to persuade him to impress me, you know, with, you know, fighting the lich. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, that would be a 19 plus my persuasion, so 24. The best way I can protect you is to get you out of here, sweetie. You know what? You know what's safe? You know what's safe? Yeah, my bedroom. My bedroom is safe. We need to get to my bedroom. And it's just like, well, then, can we get, can we at least get a decent drink before all this? Oh, yeah, anything you want, sweetheart. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab your cups your ass and push you up towards the stairs. Okay, so I hustle my cookies up the stairs. Okay. He is right at ass level, following right behind you, Prudence. He doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'll, I'll feign bringing up the rear. Yeah. I kind of lean back in. I'm like, you coming, boys? They're, they're, oh, already they're, they're gone. Yeah, they yeah. took off. Oh, they okay. Lich. So, so recap, who's in, the, who's in the mausoleum right now? Me. My Corona Prudent, Prudence, and Prudence and you and uh, uh, Pretty Blaise Boy FaceTime are going up the stairs. Okay, so my Corona, and Prudence. there is a uh, stone coffin in here and two squashed crawling claws. What would you like to do? Uh, and all you hear is some kind of muffled disturbance. I guess for right now, I'll just stay where I'm at. That's fair. So Zadar, you are headed up the stairs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Gorgeous Georgian, a hot pursuit. Yes. Uh, Prudence, you're bringing up the rear like Velma. Uh, I, no, I'm 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 feigning it. I, I'm like right. is, after after I figured out. Oh no, I'm lost. Oh oh, go on without me, guys. I'll be fine. Freddie and Daphne have already left, so that yeah. just leaves you behind. Have a, have fun. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go get me a Scooby snack. I'm gonna take a look at. Are the other mourners still there in the cemetery? Oh, it's pouring rain now. It's pouring it's rain absolutely now. Absolutely pouring rain. Okay. You are you are under the canopy of the mausoleum. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let uh, uh, pretty boy take me out of here to a tavern. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Sorry, my Corona. You just got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Prudence, you noticed that uh, Jessica Rabbit and her boyfriend have taken off. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up maybe three stairs before I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I go back to the cheese. Okay. Uh, the door's right there. Would you like to see if you can open? I would like to... I'd, I'd, I'd like to get a taste for it first. <laughs> I am shocked. Uh, go ahead and uh, straight up D20 roll. Let's see if you get more grease than free. Two. You get more grease than Brie. <laughs> very, very bad, bad. Uh, must have must have been made with your sinia pestis. Okay. Uh, so bad. <laughs> if you use the wrong bacteria, it does. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll open the door. Uh, my Corona, are you carefully? Not, not, not with a violent motion. Got you, my Corona. You would have heard uh, footsteps again. Did you want to brace the door or stay hidden? Uh, I'll stay hidden. 
Okay. Uh, Prudence, you open up the door, and for some reason the cheese acts as a rust laxative or something, uh, and it opens seamlessly. Uh, in your dark vision, you see grotesque statue, grotesque statue, two more there, and a stone coffin in the middle of the room. Uh, what, what are the statues looking like? Shitty gargoyles. Uh, they are non uh, they, they don't move. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, no, they would have killed my corona already. What's the, well, I, I know I, there, there is or was at some point some kind of giant rodent in here, I'm assuming. There's uh, caves. Yeah, I know. There's there's got to be a dirty rat somewhere. Mm. Mm, dirty yeah, rat. See how the good fellows just mesh it all together. Hey. Uh, so I'm going to close the door behind me. Okay. Make the tromping noises. No, 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 no. As, as I'm in there, I'm I'm I'm, clo I'm sealing myself in this room. Oh, okay. So that I know if anyone tries to leave. Uh my Corona, you know that there's the door who's shut. Uh, give me a perception at disadvantage to see if you hear any white scuffling. What's at disadvantage do? Two D twenty. Twice take the look. Okay. <sighs> Four. Yeah, yeah, no, you're fine. You are the only one in this room. Uh, Prudence, same thing at this advantage. Okay. I still have my dark vision, too. As does she. Okay. Uh, rolled a 19 and a 16 plus 7. You, you hear something on the other side of the coffin. A huge rat, a big fucking rat. Our, our, our USSs. That's right. Uh, uh, I want to fireball see... the room. Fireball the room. <laughs> uh, what's the coffin got on it? Written on it? Has it got an inscription? Isabella. Nice. <laughs> Dork. Mussolini. Uh, Isabella Cena. Slightly over it. Uh, you're at it. Elf, right, my Corona? Yes. Uh, you see an elf. Uh, my Corona. Sacred flame. You what? Sacred flame. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna sacred flame it. Uh, perception check, my Corona, to see if you notice a uh, head peering over Isabella's coffin. Six. As you peer around the side of the coffin, you see no feet or anything. Uh, Prudence, and you lean over, <laughs> and you see her looking around the corner. I tap her on the back of the head. <laughs> God. Enough, or just tap? <laughs> uh, my Corona, you are being tapped on the back of the head. Uh... Fireball. <laughs> I still got my finger on your head. Don't make me inflict wounds. Uh, Wait, Blake's character is level one? Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. You guys are all level one. Yeah. Yeah, no, Prudence has as shit in the way of combat stats, but when it comes to finding shit out, that's what she's good at. She's good at that. <laughs> so, my Corona, what do you want to do? Uh, I whirl around in swing my belt pouch at him nice you yeah, see if you can hit her <laughs> <laughs> i have dark vision i know but eight rolled a hit oh fuck <laughs> well that was a two <laughs> uh, all of the shit in your belt pa belt pouch goes flying all over the crypt <laughs> <laughs> not my keys though right <laughs> What? Not my cheese, though. Oh, yeah, all that <laughs> shit. Anything in your belt pouch is now scattered across the floor. <laughs> Prudence, uh, this individual is clearly attempting to kill you with cheese. <laughs> wow, this is... 
I mean, it it would be prudent to defend myself. Fair enough. It's just that cool called prudence for nothing. <laughs> I because I, I mean I, I I was just trying to get your attention. I'm going to say hold hold hold, hold the fuck up. What's what? Well, who, uh, who, uh, who, thank you, Sister uh, Profanity. <laughs> yeah, this is just Sister uh, Sister hey, of, the, uh, of, of the yeah. Hey, I went to Catholic schools. I've heard a I've heard a nun slip the tongue. You know, I have a slip of the tongue like that before. <laughs> I, I've had a nun tell me. I pissed off. one off so <laughs> bad. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, you go, you arrive at Alfredo's, nice place with checkered tablecloths and uh, oh, some Chianti bottles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wrapped in uh, this is awesome. Wrapped in the wicker. How, how is it there? Is it a little bit of a crowd? Oh yeah. Uh, also, his family's there. Oh, uh, and, uh, oh okay. They they are going to pepper hey. you with a shitload of questions on. Oh, you know, he, yeah. he's such a good guy. You know, it's a shame nobody. Are you are hungry? You eat something. You look hungry. <laughs> they aren't Jewish. They're just Italian. They are tough. It's still moms. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, Italian. It's the same uh, they, thing. They bring a shitload of pasta. Okay. And it, his father notices your healthy attributes and oh hey yeah. Uh, She's healthy. <laughs> Makes a, a myriad of inappropriate comments. He's got huge blocks of land. Uh, uh, the missus gives you a rosary to cover up on your cleavage. Oh, okay. Why okay. are they in It's going to dangle down. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just kind of resting right there in the decolletage. Uh, back in the crypt, my corona and prudence. Uh, prudence says, say, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this finger's loaded. <laughs> Pull it. Pull no. my finger. Uh, what do you want to do, uh, my clone? Uh, you're being told to relax. Uh, well, his name is not Frankie. Frankie is I was going to say, if, if, if you're being told to relax, the only thing you can do is not do it. That's right. You fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Same. What, what are you doing here? I was here first. Yeah, Doing what? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Sister None of Your Business. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't feel the need to share that information with you. Okay, well, maybe I'll just go collect your things and find some identification. Yeah, you're not going to find any identification. You're going to find me. driver's license? <laughs> <laughs> You take my cheese, I'll cut you. <laughs> Can I cast identify on her? No, that will not work. <laughs> well, are we going to have a problem? I don't know. Are we? You're, you're I'm like, are you going to keep throwing shit at me? Yes, yeah, snuck up on me. That's not a no. <laughs> He's not wrong. Can we light? Can we? Can we light a torch here? Is that? Is I'm still not hearing a no. What? Are it you depends. gonna keep throwing shit at me? <laughs> no, I don't have anything else to throw. I, I don't like your reasoning behind that. Fine, I will stand down momentarily. Okay, fine. Light your torch. All right, I light my torch. Light the torch. You illuminated a uh, great big chiseled Isabella. Cena is in on the uh, stone coffin uh it's a thin veneer so if you wanted to pop it open and see what old lady isabella looks like uh you can uh, other than that you can pick up the things that were in your belt pouch uh and collect them uh, other than that uh you do not hear the storm outside um you two are just in the uh, chamber alone zadar uh your new paramour uh, lets a little bit of pasta dangle down, and he's like, "Take it, take it from him." Take it, take it. Oh, no, 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 no! It's a lady in the tramp. Oh, take I just say, and then <laughs> lean into it too. Oh, he's gonna be so pissed at you. <laughs> so, is are there a are, establishment? Is is there is there uh, other patrons there? Oh, just, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, on. people that they don't even recognize too. Mm -hmm. Okay, patrons. So, so I, I, I told him, oh, pretty boy, it's just like, uh, I need to run 
to the privy. Uh, I'll be right back. And um, yeah, so I'll get up and as I'm making my way through the crowd and all that, kind of adjust my hood a little bit, uh, shape shift to a man, stay up, the hood up, go to the privy, go in the privy and then do you shape shift before you hit the john or my hood is up so they can't see me yeah, uh shift to... yeah okay uh so i'm going to the john i'm gonna shift okay and is then the same color robe i'm gonna revert it's a reversible cloak so i'm gonna reverse it <laughs> did you get this at sears robot i did actually <laughs> And uh, yeah, come on out as uh, you know, just a regular patron of Goomba, and just come, come walking out. Uh, performance. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Zadar, you walk out. Hey, whoa, hey, ho, hey, 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 oh, hey, ho. Oh. And they don't give two shits about you. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know make my way uh, out of the thing and um is there anybody outside uh no it's pouring, and it's pouring rain. down rain yeah, yeah I, I steal floyd's horse and head on back to the mausoleum what a dick <laughs> <laughs> okay back in the crypt uh my corona you lit a torch uh prudence uh you guys are both there there is a tenuous uh i'm i'm i'm, I'm helping their cl pick her shit up but i'm not taking anything i appreciate that so you can examine this crypt or my Corona, you can go for what you were looking for in the first place. Well, can I ask Prudence here? So what brought you here? A horse. I saw that there were grave robbers here. You're not a grave robber, are you? No, I'm not a grave robber. Okay. Yeah, there now was help a... me rob this grave. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No, there was a there was a cacophony. There were some uh, legitimate independent businessmen types down here that looked like they were trying to uh, acquire some uh, ill-gotten gains, and I uh, I, I can't uh, permit that as the part of my. Uh... They're the grave robbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend, the buxom lady that you saw earlier, had fallen down the stairs. What, and... what, what, what buxom lady? It, it was the dark. It was the dark the bus. She doesn't know that I ran into anyone. Oh, well, I suppose that's true. Well, anyway, my friend had fallen down the stairs, and I got turned around going for help. Oh, and, and instead, then of going, instead the, of going directly back the way you came from. Well, because we knew, that, we knew that there was someone down here. Because oh, 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 you were also sent by the church. No, no, we were we were going to collect alms to put flowers on the graves, but my friend fell down, and then I got turned around, and I got in here, and then these hand things tried to attack me, and then I heard all the commotion, and I got freaked out. I know more. I ran into plenty of attacking hands myself. There you go. So persuasion and insight, please. Persuasion, my corona insight. Persuasion or deception. Um. Uh, Either one for her, but you're taking insight. Yeah. 15. Uh, that's 16. Uh, her story seems plausible, but you think there's something she's not telling you. I, I, I already would have suspected that, so. Well, well, your friend left. What? Your friend left. <laughs> I do, uh... Yeah, so <laughs> very interested in getting some of the old sausage. Well, because Prudence doesn't know that it's not a she. Right. So. Well, I mean, changelings I, are gender fluid anyway. So. I, yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, no, I, Perpetua looks like the Metatron. Like, she looks up her skirt and it's just a Ken doll. It can oh, be God. whatever it can be. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a, whatever. Well, that's, that's also because she's a child. The right tool for the job. <laughs> wow. So anyway, I've been tasked to retrieve something from this grave by someone since my friend left. Would you be willing to help me and I would split the proceeds with you? This is a legitimate endeavor. Yes. Oh well, then sure, no problem. All right, you get a hundred gold. I get a hundred gold if we get if we do this. Okay. What about your friend after she's done with the vinegar strokes? 
<laughs> we'll see if she shows up. Yeah, that wasn't racist at all. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, damn it. Oh, wow. Uh, the Dago Bastard's done with her. Just throw that one out, too, while you're man, at it. Man, oh, man. Hey, hey folks at home, if you're going to send hate mail, don't even fucking bother, because I don't care. We don't read it. <laughs> we, don't, we don't read it. Uh, okay, so do you want to tell Prudence what you're looking for? So it's a ring that's supposed to be in the tomb of John Cena. Okay. Uh, and I know the tomb is not down here, so it must be on the other side. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, uh, do you know uh, where it's buried with the with the with the gentleman of the manor? Is that what the intent? What you've been told? It's not going to be with Isabella. Right. Okay. Good. We don't have to go. We, I'm glad we don't have to go grave robbing. Exactly. You aren't going to look at handless Isabella. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those crawling claws had to come from somewhere. Uh, okay, my Corona, where do you want to go from here? Well, I didn't hear that they came from. Correct. The Prudence. So, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm picturing that this is when we entered. There was basically a T junction. A T junction, and then another T junction. You guys are the farthest on the right. Okay. So left and right, back towards the exit, left and right. Gotcha. So I found nothing on this side, not that I had a chance to look. I, I don't know if you heard anything while you were down here. I, we were, like I said, there were the, I had to scare off the uh, independent mm -hmm. businessmen. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. I, it was very effective. You're busting my balls here. Why? <laughs> Why you gotta bust my balls? <laughs> All right, so you want to help me look? Yeah. So okay. So you said you didn't get a chance to look in here. Did you? Do, do you need to look around a little more? We can look around a little more. Well, no, not in here because you know Isabella's oh. here. So Isabella. <laughs> Private okay. joke. I'll explain later. <laughs> so you. So you've checked both on this side or just this one back here? Just this one. Okay. Uh, if you want to, I'm like I, I'm. I'm not particularly, I, 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 this is me internal monologuing. I don't really care too much about a reward. So I'm not worried about keeping an eye on her if she tries to Jew me over. So <laughs> are we forgetting any other racial epithets? I'm going to use Jip here in a second. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, God. No, no. So uh, if you want to, I'll, I'll let her, you take one and I'll take another one. Or if you want to keep an eye on me, it doesn't no, matter. That's me. fine. Do I keep, uh, do I roll up yet on Pretty Boy's oh, yeah. horse? You're headed that way though. Mm -hmm. That really was quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to, well, he didn't get to the main course. All he did was that's suck, that's, that's true, just booby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Corona, are you going to go across the hall or are you going to go back where you came and check those? Uh... I'll go across the hall. I, well, actually, you know what? Maybe I will stay with you. It might be better safety in numbers. We better not split the party. That's there true. might be a lich down here. Exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I heard there's a lich. <laughs> you check this door. This door is locked. Is there any writing on it? If you only had an accomplished rogue. Uh, or <laughs> This door looks a lot like the other door, but your door was unlocked. This one is locked. Hmm. Can I go look at the other doors to see if there are any that are unlocked? So you walk back the way you came. Uh, there's a, the hallway to the right and the hallway to the left. I'll take the left. Okay. Uh, you go down there. That door is unlocked. I'd like to open it. Uh, there are two coffins in here. Very short coffins. We found the kids' graves. Yay! We know Mina I... and Bina. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. <laughs> Hang on. One of them's named Mina. She's yep. a vampire. Cena. Probably. Mina, Cena. Mina, Cena, and Bina, Cena. Okay. Uh, uh, come I, on. I didn't use a random name generator today. I'm pulling this shit out of my head. Oh, no. I thought, I thought you were pulling that from Mina Harker. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Yeah. But no. I needed something that rhymed. 
All right, you want to open the kids' graves? No. Okay. You want to go down to the one on the right? Yep. All right. This door is also unlocked. Inside is uh, a fairly new grave. Uh, the epitaph on the uh, lid says, John. This must be the toilet. <laughs> it's the Lou. That's what that's what I should have named the other one, Lou. Lucina. <laughs> okay, can I open up the coffin and look in? You can try. Give me a strength check. I'll help. You can re-roll that if you need to. Since uh, uh prudence is open. Uh, 17. Yeah, you start to slide it across. Uh Zidar. Uh, you stormtroop up here. Give me a d20 roll. Let's see if I can hit you with lightning first. Uh, 15. Not even close. Uh, it hits the poor folk grave on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the horse I come is, rolling up. Yeah, the horse is a little bit spooky. Give me an animal handling 14 to keep it under control. Uh, and animal handling, uh, 13. It takes off, so you'll be walking. But you are at the Cena Mausoleum, and you can enter. Okay, I was going to get rid of the horse anyway, so... <laughs> Got to get rid of the evidence. Give me a no evidence of it a crime. <laughs> That's actually one of the crimes listed on here. <laughs> 19. 19. Uh, you hear a loud scraping noise. Kind of like stone on stone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I go ahead and work my way in and work my way to the uh, to where the sounds coming from. My Corona and Prudence, a ghastly odor uh, rises out of this stone box. Give me Constitution check or wretch. Ah, fuck. Uh, Three. Nineteen minus one. Uh, Prudence, you've smelled worse. My Corona, D4, one, you puke on the dead body, two, you puke on Prudence, three and four, you puke in the other direction. Uh, three. She kindly turns her head and vomits onto the far side. Uh, looking into it, Prudence, uh, you see the body of a man, a whole lot of stab wounds, <laughs> like the Ides of Goodfellas right here. Wow. <laughs> uh, hands clasped over his chest. Mm -hmm. Nice ring on his pinky. I'll point it out to her. Uh, <laughs> uh, wipes her mouth. Oh, it's gone. Uh, Zidar, <laughs> give me a hang on. Hang on. I, I, pull, I pull out an enema bulb uh, that I have located on my person, and, and I, I, I douche your nose for you. I want to know where you pulled it out from first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nat 20. Uh, Zadar, you sneak up on two individuals inside the crypt on the left, and uh, the one just retches all over the floor. The other one peers into the coffin. OK. I I assume the the what elf appearance again. I'm just like, hey, what are you mooks doing in here? Wow, five minutes with the uh, Italian family, you're already blood. Oh yeah. Uh, when Prudence... you're here, your family. <laughs> <laughs> Prudence and my, uh, you hear the voice and you turn around. Uh, Prudence, you have no idea who this Jamook is. No, what, what no, else? she. I, what what else? Else? I'm I'm Zadar that she knows. No, you were the uh, chesty woman. I know, but I switched when I left. So I mean, changeless can change a thought. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a free action. But Prudence only saw I, you. I met Zadar downstairs. Oh, Prudence. Okay, I'm talking. No, no Prudence okay. only met the chesty chick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Now, my Corona knows who you are, but Prudence mm -hmm. is like, who the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I'm like, yeah. And if you're saying and, I'm and my Corona has vomit <laughs> all over. Yeah. Uh, That's my uh, I say, <laughs> I say, excuse me, I forgot my tits in the restaurant. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It took you long enough. <laughs> And to get rid of them somehow, let's get the hell out of here. We can lock the mausoleum and just try to get a get the hell out. It's still pouring down rain outside. 
Prudence Insight? Yeah. Uh, 21. Uh, these two apparently have some type of business relationship. No, this is your, this is your partner. Yeah. You're a shapeshifter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, How well I'm dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You cut out, Blake, what? <laughs> Prudence has pointed out to my Corona, there's the ring. I take, uh, I take the ring. Is she able to get it off? Let's see. Well, from the sound of it, that would be your speciality. Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! We're going to the shore. Ugh. One. Okay. Uh, yeah, you get the ring on. She got it? Okay. With the finger. <laughs> nice. It comes right off, still attached to the bloated finger. I don't think Uma's going to care. <laughs> it was a yeah. yeah. Uh, Prudence, you want to do anything about this? Or are you satisfied? I, I mean, legitimate job. I throw her, I throw uh, Maya kerchief so she can wrap it in. Oh, nice. Nice. Is this your person? <laughs> uh, legitimate job will pay 200 gold pieces. Uh, I want to close that. We're not leaving this open. No. You got to keep the vomit in there somehow. Uh, are, Prudence, are you going to do it? Am I Corona going to do it or is the dog going to close it? I'll, I'll help. Yeah, I think between the three of us, we should be able to get it closed. Huh? I'm looking for a natural one so somebody can get their finger pinched on. <laughs> uh, who wants to close it? Um, I'll, I'll close it. I'll At try. advantage. Okay. <clears throat> okay, uh, 19. Easily I close it with the three of you. You shove it, Celine and John Cena back into his tomb. Uh, judging from the sunlight, it must be six o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say the job is well done. Now, how uh, in wrap up, how do you wish to proceed? You've already promised Prudence 100 gold pieces. So yeah, I didn't think you were gonna come back. So I, I mean, <laughs> fair fair assumption. I mean, yeah, I kind of left you hanging, but I was I was trying to be a decoy. I was gonna say that was that was a legitimate that that was a very legitimate uh, function that you served. <laughs> we split I'll it tell, three ways. Yeah, that's uh, prudence. Is that will that work for you? Normally, I'd call her a squelch, but no, I'll uh, I'll I'll say that. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. Sixty-two and a half gold pieces <laughs> for each. Right. Uh, hey, you, it's, it's more than what we had. <laughs> once you find Uma Thurman. Again. Okay. Uma uh, of Thurman. Kyle, that's two fucking hours, dude. That's how you do it, bitch. <laughs> Hey, that's how you do it. Hey, bitch. oh, hey, oh. Uh, this was an experiment uh, that went horribly wrong when we first started tonight. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hacker. You aren't really hacking if you get the password taken. Uh, sorry okay, for the other seven people who were trying to play. I really am. Next time, we'll do it a little bit differently. Let's, uh, let's do final thoughts. Uh, Blake, you didn't get a chance to talk initially, so what would you think? You got in here halfway. I got to be Prudence. I'm fine. I had a good time. All right. Uh, my Corona producer, Carrie. Oh, it was fun. All right. Clean the bottom <laughs> off your chin. Uh, last but not least, David, what'd you think? Hey, I, it was a lot of fun. I, I mean, this is a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon if you want to, if you want to do stuff like this. This is great. Yeah, it, it, it was a, it was a nice, easy one. And honestly, uh, there's a lot of shit written out, but it was all randomized. So. Yeah, that was time. fun. That was fun. I never got to see the cat. Free run murder of the Doge. Yeah. <laughs> Doge we, boots. Oh man, uh, I got yeah. You gotta do Uncle Arthur again for the Doge, Blake. Please, please do it. Pull out Uncle Arthur. What we need to do, and what we're looking at doing, uh, and I can't remember. It was either Blake or Kyle's idea. Is have somebody run one of the scenarios we've already run. But not me DMing and not me playing and having, having a different having career. someone else's interpretation. Yeah. I think Kyle was the one that came up with that. I, I said I said rerun some of the classics with different players or diff or different iterations of possibilities. And I agree, it takes the pressure off me and it allows me to see how other people can go ahead and extrapolate the game. So I like that. I think oh, uh, look. Sorry. Nope, uh, no, I was just gonna say I think little open world sandboxes like this would be great for a time filler to 
for us to get in and get more people sure. playing. Well, um, and this and this is something where you can have, you know, you've already put together the basics. This is the world. You can you can send that information to someone else if you don't feel like killing two hours and someone else wants to run for two hours. Well, uh, and uh, I don't mind any of you using that. Uh, I, I will happily publish the districts and what the information is. And any of you guys can go ahead and decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to create a scenario in uh, Cacophony uh, because, uh, as you pointed out, I do have the bones done, uh, so it's pretty easy. And uh, maybe Tuesday we decide what deities are in Cacophony. Uh, but yeah, uh, folks, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff. Uh, shirts, toilet paper rolls, I don't know, hand sanitizer. We got a lot of shit. I'll be selling used underpants. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> that'll be on eBay or eBay. Ooh. I got a rosary I can sell real cheap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do that. Uh, if you want to chat with uh, our cast, uh, tinyurl.com slash mhoboinc discord or discord channel, uh, courtesy of Blake and Carol. Uh, Tuesday night, we'll be doing the uh, talk show. If you want a seat in that, or if you want a seat on one of the shows, by all means, hit us up. We'd love to have you here. Uh, Mr. Hacker, if you want to change your ways and just not be a douche, sure, uh, you can play. Uh, for you other eight, uh, let us know. Again, our apologies. Folks, for everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, thanks for joining us on this Sunday afternoon. You guys have a great time, and we'll see you on Tuesday, if not sooner. Everybody wave goodbye as our producer finishes. Yay. And wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs>